He was very respectful. Very, uh, it was a country that sort of reminded him. China is unique in many ways because it's, it is outside of the Western thread of civilization. Yeah. It, had a, it was a little influenced in the 19th century and the 20th century, but largely it's a completely separate place. Uh, so, um, so it works by a logic that's very, very different. Uh, and my father was in the very way he carried himself there. He was very, maybe because he was there in 49 and for the first time, and there was such chaos. It was so, in the true sense of the word, awesome, intimidating. That he kind of kept that, you know, diffidence uh, throughout. And I was sensitive to that, you know, he was like, you know, it's, if there's one place you don't want to jump to conclusions in, it's this one, you know. You, that's barbaric as well, yeah. you know, thinking you can understand and know China quickly and knows what's best for China. Yeah. You know, the Chinese have an extremely, you know, difficult job dealing with their own country, you know, and he was, you know, so he was cautious. He's also, I mean, he was a young statesman dealing with, you know, going live particularly. We had a lot of admiration for the, you know, the, the calm and patience and, and wisdom of, you know, of these elder statesmen. So he, you know, kept that. I mean, he was a strange kind of father and that he was much, you know, he had, he was 53 when I was born. Yeah. I certainly learned that that's not what I wanted to do because it, you know, it leaves, you know, he, he left the world without ever having met his grandchildren, you know, and, you know, I don't, I think that's sad. The, uh, so I, you know, I felt important, I felt important to have a family younger, right? He, but as a man who was well into his life when he started to have children, there's some great advantages to that, you know, if you know deeply who you are and you've achieved a lot more, and therefore you're, in a way, you're more, uh, you're more accepting of your children. You know, a young, I, I, you know, as I've seen it before, very young parents are kind of competing, not with their children, but the time, they're trying to, trying to get, achieve themselves the lives that they wanted, and, and yet they, you know, they have to spend time with their children, so they're torn. It's a, you know, they feel like they have to choose between the two. Yeah. Uh, you know, so looking at my father allowed me, made me, it made me reject the notion that I would ever choose between my family and, and my work. You know, my work is a second year work. Yeah. You know, he, he got to see the beginnings of my work as a filmmaker and he was, you know, he, he was, he loved it. He had nothing, he was very supportive of it. So, yeah, I don't... I, I attribute to my father because I feel he's with me. You know, I'm following, you know, his wisdom. I'm still discovering, you know, through him. I'm still growing more wiser through him. I don't necessarily wonder what you think. I think you appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, sh sh doesn't, she said, in this book I can see how you're thinking. And I never know because you don't say a whole lot. So I'm not a hugely talkative person, you know. Uh, there's too much going on in my head. I don't know where to start explaining it, and I don't bother most of the time. So, yeah. uh, my brother and I uh, have a very playful relationship, and continue to. I, I think I remain in the space, and that's a very, very small space now in his life. It's completely outside of all of this. He doesn't have to. In fact, I'd laugh at him if he tried to perform for me. You know, he doesn't have to perform. He doesn't have to deliver. Uh, so we play with our children, and, and frankly, we don't talk about, you know, he read my book, he knows what I think, and yeah. he knows, uh, you know, so we don't, no, I don't, uh, can't imagine that we're sitting around discussing, you know, how, how to get an angle on China in a trade negotiation. You know? It's not my, if I did that, it would, it would be at a cost to our, you know, sanctuary that we have, which is, I'm part of this world outside of politics, and, uh, and it's not my place to do that. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not working for him. I'm not even working for the Canadian people. You know, I'm. I'm a very different animal.